Hello YouTube. It's been a while. Um, it's <laughs> that's going to become a bit of a catchphrase for me. Um, it's been a while because I've been kind of busy. And the reason for this is quite simple really. Uh, on the 21st of May I have my motorcycle theory test soon after I should be doing my direct access course we're in Victor Motorcycle School I can never resist down that tunnel I never can you know I'm hoping I'll pass first time and then as soon as that's done this is good YBR of mine will be going up for sale I won't be keeping it you know, I've got a few bikes in mind and I'm going to keep that I'm actually going to make this a little bit of a theme with my channel is that I'm going to keep it shtum about what bike I'm going to get next uh, what bike I want to get next as I say I've got a few ideas today I'm going to explore a little bit not too much um, and I'm going to go straight across here which I believe leads down to Stone Street um, I actually had a little bit of a slip here the other day on the way back from May uh, from the May Day Hastings run I took my old man on a slight detour I can talk for a minute and uh, I was coming around this corner and I slipped on some of that gravel <laughs> and uh, it scared the bejesus out of me it's the first time I slipped and I would do it in front of my old man as well wouldn't I <sighs> slightly embarrassing but you know what it happens and you live and learn second next time I came around that corner I stopped and had a look at what I actually slipped on so, right you know all the other times I've been around that corner I've missed that patch of gravel, but that one time where I had my old man behind me, I hit the patch of gravel and the front wheel started to slide out on me. And just had a little bit of a whoa wobble. So that was scary. But Mayday, the Mayday Hastings run, my God, was that fun. Um, it was fun for two reasons. Firstly, because I got to see my, uh, see my girlfriend out on a motorbike. Oh, where did this water come from? It's dry the other day. Um, yeah, I got to see her on the back of my dad's motorbike, which was great fun. Um, and uh, basically, we you know she we found a helmet for her, found some kit, and uh, and suited her up and stuck her on the back of my dad's motorbike, and we had a blast. We had so much fun. I can't go too fast because otherwise wind noise wind noise interferes with the mic. So I have to kind of like take it a bit easy, and I kind of want to disappear off down a country lane. So I'm keeping an eye out for that as well keeping an eye off for that random turning that I really like um, I just don't know where it is yet no that's not a turning that's someone's driveway oh could this be it yes here it is here we go I haven't been down this road yet so I've no idea what's down there upper Hardris. okay let's go and have a look so this is probably one of my favorite things to do is find a little lane like this and I won't go any faster than this 20 miles an hour because I'm just riding along to just appreciate the view um, sometimes I'll just come across really nice things like earlier I went for a ride and I was out um, near Shottingham never been there before never even heard of the place until I went there mosquitoes oh, my visor's shut never even heard of it until today I think I'm going to go to slightly more see this is what I don't do see that down there it's got a strip of grass I don't go down there. There's a hair over there. Probably won't catch that on the camera. That's a that's a hair. It's huge, like a big bunny, but cooler. Um, yeah, I don't go down those. I don't go down lanes that don't have like a strip of tarmac down the middle. They have grass down the middle because the grass is really sketchy, really slippery. I've got to stop and sort out my hearing aid. It just went all funny. Oh, fuck you, Renee. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Me, <sighs> me. If there's a house on the other side or like a family like sitting there enjoying the evening, this could be really weird because they've just heard a bloke on a motorbike pretending to be a lamb. Right, we're back in action. Okay. Um, Bossingham, that's where I am. 
Stone Street and Hive. Uh, <clears throat> we'll go back this way. Let's go this way. Let's go to Barham. Kingston and Barham. Let's go left. Because this is the way I came last time. I need a more manly sounding bike. Hello, pheasant. <laughs> I nearly hit one uh, earlier today. I was riding along. It was similar to this with um, with like this 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 overgrowth on the right hand side and this pheasant was running along the road and he didn't know where to go he flew up and was trying to get through but he just couldn't so eventually he came quite across me and uh his tail feather has actually hit my helmet <laughs> I, was, I was just creasing up the whole time i couldn't really do much else about it i figured that if i hit him i could always take it home take him home and eat him palm said blood bean i wonder where that is Uh, Kingston, Bishopsbourne, Burston Manor, Bridge. I think we'll go down. I think we'll stay down. Stay near the bottom of the valley. Well, where am I going? Uh, stay out in the middle. Uh, went in the middle. I don't trust my front tyre. This is this is the problem. I don't trust it to keep gripped. It feels like I'm going down someone's driveway. Oh, no, I'm not though. This is all country lane. This is all public road. This is a really nice country lane. I'm trying to head back in a Canterbury-ish direction. I am relatively certain that Canterbury is that way. Um, or if it's just... Um, are those fucking llamas? They're fucking llamas! <laughs> I found a field for I found a field for the llamas. Oh yes, yes, this is what I wanted to do. I had no idea this is here. Look, 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 look at this. Yum, 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 yum. Hello. Oh, they're cute. I hope they don't spit at me. This one's coming over. I oh, don't know. No, he used to say he's going on grazing. But there's llamas and then there's baby llamas. I can see a baby llama just up over there. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Llamas. They're kind of cool. I like. I like their really long necks. They're funny looking animals, and their names are brilliant. They have a great name. Llamas. I found llamas. Look, look where I am. I'm not in South America. I'm in the British countryside and I found a field full of llamas. You don't need to go to a zoo anymore. Just go into the British countryside. Anyway. Oh. Oh. He's watching me. They're both watching me. Yeah, they're running away now. They're bored of me. Oh man, I can't believe I found another field full of llamas. That's so weird. I keep finding them out here in the country. Just... Oh, hello, we've got a car. This is like... Okay, you've been watching this. How many vehicles are you stopping for me? Oh, I appreciate that very much, thank you. What is this? What is this? Is this a pub? Uh -huh. The duck. It's just called the duck. It's like a pub quiz. Pub quiz here, Sunday, 25th of May. Money prize. Cool! Be there or be square. <laughs> oh, this is turning into a really long video. This is going to take so long to upload. 
But you know what? I don't care. It's been it's been a while, and I'm hoping that you guys are watching this and enjoying it. Well, this this is awesome. It's like a it's like a ranch around here. I keep stopping to have a look at things because I think they're really cool. But it's like a ranch. You've got wooden fences and everything. Cheers, mate. Look at my camera all you like. You ain't having it. I'm gone. See, 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 I'm gone. Whee! I'm not entirely sure where I am. I don't have my phone mounted to the bike because it's in my pocket recording me right now. So mm, I would like to use it as my GPS and find out where I am, but I'm going to keep on recording until I actually get home. Or until I get near home. Ah, roadkill. Ah, I felt that. I heard it. It splattered on my visor. See, what I want to do, if I ever win the lottery, or someone spots my inexplicable talent on YouTube for talking to myself and talking utter shite, and decides to give me a lot of money for it, I want to like find a farmer, find a patch of land like this, find out who owns it and say, can I just buy a little corner of it, please? And can I just build a house on it, please? And just have a really nice house in the middle of nowhere, like here, like a house in this corner of the field. The farmer's not going to get back much out of this corner of the field, surely. Surely it's going to be easier if he ploughs it and he doesn't have to come right up into this corner as well. So, you know, that... Oh, hello. What the fuck am I? Whoa, a good tunnel. You know, when I've got my bigger bike, I'm going to go through that tunnel again and I'm going to see how it sounds. And I'm going to record, hopefully, with the same kit that I've got here and we'll see what the difference is. Right, where am I? Which way to Canterbury, please? Pottery. Okay, most of the signs are missing, but that's okay, we can improvise. Not too sure where I am, but I think I'm getting closer to civilization, so to speak. I don't know where that is. That was a really nice bit of country lane. I'm gonna go down there again, if I can figure out how to get there. Oh, hello, hello. Now where am I? No clue where I am. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> um, my god. So I've just gone through um, Pert Bottom, I think. Huh! Who the funk it? Well, I guess I'll go home now. <laughs> I know where I am. I'm on the other side of the bridge. That's cool. Motorbike or is that a car? Local motorbike. I would love if that was a Kent Rider. Because that was a blue bike. If that was you, that would be really funny. I don't know if it was. I couldn't see, there was too much headlight in my face. But I saw a blue bike and it was a naked bike. So if I go past your house and there's no bike there, that's going to be really amusing because you've just seen the end of my little adventure this evening. My bike's been really fun to ride at the minute because I've just tensioned up the chain. So it's nice and responsive. Ah, oh, what an evening. I don't really want to stop riding. I, I don't have to stop riding. I've still got enough fuel to probably do another 50 miles maybe even 60 <clears throat> but I should go home take the video off of this camera edit it make it awesome not that I need to make it that much more awesome than it already was let's face it we saw some pretty cool things tonight and uh, stick it up on YouTube get it uploaded run forest run I mean, fair play to the bloke, he's doing whatever he can to get fit. One that could be said for me, I don't go out for runs, I go for rides. 
I think that was Stan Lee. <laughs> I think that might have been Stan Lee. Anyway, this is where I'll sign off as usual. I always sign off on this corner. So, thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more adventures. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.